Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to set up my Tenda F3 N300 to be as an access point so I could have a strong signal here from my room at the second floor. Alright, so let's connect now our router to the power outlet and then of course connect uh, our ISP to the Tenda F3 and make sure the LAN cable is plugged in only into the WAN port of our Tenda F3. Right? Just to make sure we're going to get an internet, it must be plugged into the LAN 1 or port 1 of our Tenda F3. Alright, next I'm going to connect now into my uh, Tenda F3 and since this is uh, a newly configured, there's no password yet, no? So, alright. So now I'm connected and then I'm gonna open up my browser. So there are two ways to log in or connect to its interface. First is by typing its default IP address, which is 192.0.1. Alright, or you can also log in using pendawifi.com. So they're just the same. Alright, so um, there are uh, multiple connection type we can set this up as PPTOE with uh, static IP or dynamic IP so in this case since I don't have a PPTOE account I'm gonna set this up as a dynamic IP connection type All right? and then I'm gonna put here my uh, SSID so I'm gonna name this as uh, webhouse Tenda F3 and then I'm gonna put in a password. Okay, so we will be disconnected. And now let's check my uh, wireless and refresh this one. It's not yet being reflected, so let's wait for a few more seconds. Looks like it's ready. Yep, nice. You can see right here. We now have the uh, Webhouse Tenda F3 and I'm gonna connect Password Click OK Alright So, I'm now connected to the new SSID so let's go back to our interface let me just refresh this page and from here we can see the status of the internet is not yet connected because we still need to set it up. So let's just go to internet settings and then from here we can see the uh, default operation is in router. So we're going to uh, set this up as an access point. But first, for security purposes, I'm gonna put in my uh, router password first. Okay. And then I would like to change the IP address of this router because after the uh, setup, uh, in order for me to access the router, I have to make sure that the IP address of this router is the same or on the same range of my Globe ISP router. So my Globe default gateway is 192.168.1.1. So I'm going to change this to 192.168.1.20. Uh, Alright, and then I'm going to leave uh, everything uh, by default. So I'm going to click on OK. Alright, so now it prompted me to log in. But before that, remember we change uh, the uh, gateway or the IP address of this uh, router so from 192.168.0.1 I have to change this to 1.20 because this is now its new IP address all right and then I'm going to log in now the password that I just recently put in all right so now my router is secured and then continuing the setup let's go back to internet settings and then I'm going to select AP for access point 
OK and then I'm gonna click on OK and then click OK again to reboot and apply the changes that we just made. Alright, so while rebooting this router is very cheap, no? I purchased this I think in uh, Shopee for uh, like 600 to 700 pesos. So this router is an indoor router and this is a good one uh, based on the review that I just read no? from the uh, website. So that's why I purchased this uh, to have my uh, Wi-Fi uh, become stable here in my second floor. Alright, so it's almost finished. I log back into the router. And then from here we can see that the status is a connection success very good and its current settings is in access point all right and lastly let's go to wireless settings and enable this uh, feature which is the uh, anti-interference right, and then click on ok for the uh, last step let's go to fast.com and get the speed all right so fair enough my ISP one is up to a 50 mbps and we've got 53 mbps because of the bursts okay so thank you so much guys for watching so I hope you like my video uh, regarding the Tenda F3 setup as an access point so see you on my next tutorial so once again this is uh, webhouse tv you have a good day okay bye